my name's Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at Intersec in Dubai, and I'm delighted to be joined by Andy Spence. Andy, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Andy is the Joint Managing Director of Britannia Fire, and we're going to spend a few minutes looking at the Britannia range. Andy's going to take us through the products, and we're going to learn a little bit more about Britannia and the important part they play in the industry. Andy, share us the products, please. Yeah, sure. So, so we're displaying two two sets of products here today in Dubai. Really, a really good show for us. Dubai always has been. We uh, cut our teeth on with Britannia range with the oil, marine, and gas market, but now diversifying our offering to hotels, hospitality, um, hospitals, and um, universities, etc. So, we, and that's with the new P50 range. So that's really important to us, and it's the world's first developed and brought to the market by Roger Carr, our other joint managing director who developed the product um, and also the co is also the founder of the business over 50 years now so we've got a good pedigree and a good history. And, and I think that uh, that is uh, amplified by the, the, the Britannia standing in the industry, a great reputation and also great products. So in t you mentioned Roger, Yes. key part of the business, works very closely with you guys and a key influencer as you both are with absolutely. your work within Britannia Fire and also the FIA. Yes, absolutely. So as we move on, we've introduced the range, Give me some key features of, of the new product that has come on recently. Okay, so the P50, we're now just offering our new P50 Eco range. So it's a really important um, extinguisher for the marketplace. It basically contains no fluorofactants. So the PFAS, impending PFAS ban is uh, soon to be with us. So we've got ahead of the game. So we made a conscious decision to change all our products to this new type of foam. Uh, we don't want any cancer-causing chemicals in our in our business, and we've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money on, on certifying these products. And we're still not finished yet; we're still working. We've also gone for a water mist range as well, which we've added to the to the offering that the P50 brings. But one key feature about the P50 is you can do the best fire training in the world. You walk out the room as a small fire. There's two extinguishers on the wall. Nobody knows which one to use. Pick this one up and it's more or less safer on everything. So it's safe to use on live electrical equipment, it's safe, it's safe for class A fires, class B fires. So you can pick it up with confidence knowing that it will deal with the issues that's ahead of you, which is really important. I think exactly right. I think um, people often get confused and they are fearful of using something in case yeah. it goes wrong or they're going to harm themselves. Getting the message out that you've got one size that fits all with a product that has been brought to market with that environmental friendly um, attitude is fabulous and, and being one step ahead of the game of the band puts you in a, in a healthy healthy position. Absolutely, yeah. And what we've also done as well to coincide with that new development is we've arranged a, a scrappage scheme. So if you've got, and you will have infected extinguishers with this PFAS chemical in your premises, and we're giving a, a, a trading scrappy scheme against if you a like for like product on the P50 range. So it's a win win. Another benefit for the uh, end user and the client. Yes. And, uh, I think in these times where the client is looking for best value when they're uh, investing in life safety equipment, anything that you can do to add to that is only, only a bonus. Absolutely. We touched on just now about the, the proud history and the proud heritage of, um, of Britannia Fire. How does that? influence you when you're looking at new ranges and putting together um, your next offering to the market? So we must get, especially at these exhibitions, 10, 12 people every, every time coming to the stand asking us they've got this new foam, this new powder or whatever and they want to put it in our, our cylinders. We don't do it. We, uh, we do stringent testing to ensure that our product range and our reputation, which is second to none, is protected. We don't want to meet uh, mistakes uh, uh, putting different people's products in which might not meet our exacting standards. It all it also confuses things. Like yeah. you say, Britannia have worked hard to to get the uh, the reputation, and uh, you want to be very sure about who you're going to work with absolutely. to ensure that that's not going to damage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, certification, something that is massively important. You've already talked about that you're you're 
part way through that process. I think from an end user's perspective, if they're looking and coming to a, a reputable uh, supplier such as yourself, they know they've got that backup that you've got products yeah. that have been tested and they're compliant. Absolutely. So third party accreditation is something that's really important to us as a business. Um, which is why I've got also a board director for the FIA as well, so we get involved in that side too. Um, and standards really do play a part. But we've got to be careful there, because standards can um, uh, stifle innovation, and we've got, we can't allow that to happen. Um, and it also creates confusion when people look at more about servicing two extinguishers, maintaining two extinguishers, scrapping two and selling two. So we move away from that. We've got to, we've got to stop this. I mean, this industry is great, but some people are still going around on a horse and cart, where we, we're looking at electric vehicles and solar panels for our buildings. So, yeah, we just need to strive forward. And, and I agree, I think that we've got, oh, no, I don't think, I know there are still people in, the, in, in our industry, and I think that uh, I'm proud that having done my time as a firefighter and now stepped over onto the, onto the other side of the, of the market, that we're still working with people that don't like change. Absolutely. They are afraid of change and they, uh, will put barriers in, in, in the way. That is something that we need to educate them. Yep. If we if we go head to head with them, that's just gonna make them a little bit more belligerent. Yep. We need to educate, but we need organizations, which I know like the FIA, yep. that are doing a lot of work there to uh, overcome those issues. Absolutely, I mean, Ian Moore won the Queen's Award for Innovation. He'll, he'll, he tells everybody that story. Um, but he's rightly proud. You know, it's a great thing to have, to have achieved and he, and he loves innovation. So we need to really strive. And if we want to be ahead of the game now and market leaders, then we need to innovate. If it, you know, we don't want to be the next Kodak or, or exactly. uh, Blockbuster. All right. So what's next for Britannia? What have you got on the, uh, on the drawing board well, and what are you looking forward yeah. to during 2024? So I've got the easy job as, as joint managing director. So my job is to go out and sell the products. Roger's got the hard job. So he has to develop new products. So we go away, we, we meet him, we say, well, this is what we want and we leave him to go off and play around and work with our guys in the factory and develop R&D, testing. We've got our own testing facility in Norfolk, which is a big investment that costs us uh, over 200,000 pounds to get that up and running. Um, but it's great, you know, we, it, it allows us to test our own products. We haven't got to wait for notified bodies. Um, and we offer that to rent to people as well. So if they want to, you know, we're in, innovating, we want other people to innovate as well. It's, you know, we're not guarded secrets and everything else. Work with us. So, what we've heard, Britannia Fire is not standing still. They are uh, working day in, day out to, to push new products into the market. And uh, one thing that I want to look forward to in the next month or two is to, is to get Roger and Andy to uh, sit down and we'll do a podcast and we'll bring a podcast to the market and we'll learn about how um, Roger has taken a product to where it is today and working with Andy to uh, put Britannia Fire at the head of the game. Andy, been a pleasure, my friend. Thank you very much.